much, Convener. Um, Mary's already touched upon part of the lift and shift situation. And I, I was wanting to ask um, what, what your views were on uh, what impact current BBC commissioning practices has had on Scottish-based production companies. What's your view? The, the, the reason for asking it is I, I'm, I was looking at um, television network hours across all of the BBC channels, and BBC outputs 31,000 hours, of which um, Scotland's local output is 882. I accept it excludes network. Um, but music and arts, they had 1,800 hours of music and arts, of which Scotland's population share would have been 156 hours. BBC Scotland actually produced 29. Um, entertainment, they produced 1,100 hours. Scotland's <laughs> share would have been 96 hours. We had two. And comedy, again, 1,700 hours for comedy. Scotland's share, 144. We actually had nine. So I'm just wondering what you thought of, the, you know, how their practices were working. Bearing in mind what you said, Professor Beveridge, about Waterloo Road, Weakest Link, Question Time, the lottery shows, Homes Under the Hammer, which are all UK productions, but based in Scotland. Not only that, but given the fact we are sitting in the capital of Scotland, which has the biggest international arts festival yep. in the world by yep. far, mm -hmm. I think BBC Scotland and the BBC's performance has been lamentable in relation to that, although it has improved in recent years. Speaking as a consumer, I don't have the data in front of me, my feeling is that the BBC seems to pay more attention to Glastonbury than it does to the Edinburgh Festival. And I would like much more attention paid to Edinburgh and much more attention paid to the Edinburgh Festival. And it's about getting the BBC to change its mindset and be aware of that. Much, you know, what the BBC have said about what qualifies as Scottish, they have referred to the Ofcom's uh, regional production, where two out of the three criteria must be met, oh. but it all refers to outside the M25 yeah. and That's right. has no reference um, to Scotland at all in, in what they've supplied to us. And I'm just wondering whether the three criteria that's laid down, which is in terms of production base, production budget and production talent, whether that should actually be built into the BBC Charter for Scotland. And instead of saying uh, where it says the UK outside the M25 should actually refer to Scotland specifically. So, for instance, the first one would say instead of the production company must have a substance of business and production based in the UK outside of the M25, it should say uh, the production company must have a substance of business and production base in Scotland and whether that would address the problem that we're seeing where we've got a lift and shift. Well, in, in part, I mean, I've suggested there'd be a service licence for BBC Scotland per se, but if you step back a bit and you look at what happened with Wales, Wales got Doctor Who and Torchwood. Mm -hmm. Now, these were not Welsh representation, although the locations were Welsh, particularly in the case of Torchwood, but they, they were good economic policy. This is where economic policy and cultural policy intersect with each other. Uh, and certainly, uh, what I would keep on saying is the BBC has known for a long time that the audience in Scotland is unhappy with its product and unhappy with portrayal. And that's where the focus should be. And whether you do that by uh, changing the public purposes, which would be my preferred route, or whether you do it by putting pressure on BBC management, that's the road to go down and that's the problem that needs to be addressed. Mm 